Hunter is obviously quite a, a damaged man. But why should Americans care about this? It, regardless of the fact that he is the president's son, why should Americans look at this laptop and think this is dodgy and affects their life when he is, he is still a private citizen? It's a very good question. If Hunter were merely a degenerate, and didn't have anything to do with international business, I would not have dedicated 18 months of my life to this. And if Hunter were just the son of a US Senator, let's assume that Joey never made it to the vice presidency in the Oval Office, I wouldn't have dedicated this much time. But it's while they're going through the photos, I want people to understand that this person was cutting international business deals in the millions of dollars. So for example, Many U.S. presidents have had degenerate family members. Amy Carter, the daughter of, of Jimmy Carter, who Joe is sort of taking after and emulating, his daughter got kicked out of Brown University for smoking dope, okay? So it's not, this isn't a new story to have degenerate progeny of the U.S. president. Mm. What is unprecedented is the fact that Hunter played the role of international businessman while being degenerate. And not just international businessman, Maddie, he wasn't in business with the Japanese or the Australians or the English, he was going to Ukraine, Romania, Libya, China, Kazakhstan, Mexico. That's where he was going. So they should care about it because he was committing federal felonies with foreign oligarchs. And on top of that, he was a complete degenerate. That is absolutely mm. provable from the material. How do you verify the contents of the laptop, the photos, the emails, the text messages, the WhatsApp messages, everything? How do you verify this so that you don't have another example of Russian disinformation being thrown around so that people can start taking this seriously before a federal election? Well, it's a very good question. Number one, that's why we put the emails out first. On bidenlaptopemails.com, not only can viewers or can, can users type in a search term and get all of the results, from that term. So let's say they want to type in Ukraine or cocaine or Joe Biden. They're going to get all the results from those keywords, but they can actually download the EML files themselves and go through the metadata. Anybody on planet Earth with an internet connection, even if you're in Australia, Queenstown, New Zealand, you can go to bidenlaptopemails.com, download 800 megabytes, i.e. 128,000 emails, and you can go through the metadata yourself. And you can see that this DNS name server is responsible for this mailbox and it goes to this email they can verify it themselves the photos videos calendar entry it's a very good question within these photos there is exif data latitude longitude date of of, of time date that the photo was digitized and so what we do is we look at the exif data within the photo then look at his calendar entries and other email data to prove that he was in the location at that time that the photo was taken. So we do cross-referencing between different types of data within the device. It's called splicing. It, it's very common in digital forensics.